hello welcome back again to another video today we're going to look at the latest uh, subtitle manager in Caden Lives 2412 uh, this subtitle manager used the support of advanced substation alpha or ASS tech uh, which is uh, integrated into the subtitle this new subtitle manager so let's have a look at that so here in Caden Live, uh, there are two options. One, you auto-generated the subtitles, so, and the next one is just uh, creating it yourself. So in this video, uh, we're going to look at how to create it ourselves. So for example, if you come to view here, you can see the speech editor. That is the one that automatically using the Vox model or the uh, OpenAI Whisper to create this uh, subtitle automatically. Now, for the subtitle that we're going to use now, we're going to use this uh, subtitle, which we will type in uh, manually. So let's click on that. Now, once we click on that, you can see here we have this new window uh, aligned with this other here. You can always uh, place this window anywhere you want to, but for now, I'll just leave it as it is in this place. Uh, let's just bring it into the middle here and make this a little bit back there. Okay, so this is the editor that we're going to use. Now, first, uh, if we can use this, two ways to do it. Simply uh, click on the plus icon here to create your new uh, subtitle track or simply click here to show more options. So let's click here and you can see it's adding something here. But before that, we need to know uh, which speed, so the uh, time of its speed. So what I usually do is I listen to the speeds and then put a guide so I will know so this one let's say let's put a guide to add the guide simply hit G on your keyboard and you have this little edit uh, marker or the guide appear here and you can type in whatever name you want to uh, put it in and then I want to change this to category 1 and then click OK so here is our start and then I have to listen to this audio and then divide that, put it each of this uh, guide in uh, its location. So I want to have this welcome back again on its own. So let me put another guide here. This one, let's put one and then change this to category two. So I want to have another guide here. Press hit down Z again and then change this to two. And I'm going to change this to category three and then click OK. So I'm going to do that until all of this is the being grouped into something like what I'm doing now. OK, so we're going to have this one here. One, two, three and four. So what I want to do to create its subtitles for each of these little guide here. So the first one, now let's place our playhead here and then click on this plus button. So simply go out of the clip and then select the clip, place your playhead somewhere when you want to cut it and then hit X and you cut this one, place the playhead here and you cut it and then uh, make sure to go out of the uh, cut tool or the trim cut tool and then you can trim all the way there and then hit X again to cut this one. Selecting tool here and then we grab this and trim that back again. So these are the ones that we're going to translate. So first, there are two ways we can do that. Let's start with the first one. Selecting this one, play and listen to it. Welcome back again. So this is just a welcome back again. So here I'm going to type in. Okay, so that's the first one there and you can see already it's in here. Okay, so that's what we want to have it right now. And uh, since it is a black screen, I want to make it more a little bit color. So let's come to the project bin, add a color clip, click OK, put that, and then uh, we can change this to something darker. Select her here and then just bring this down somewhere there and then click OK. So now we have that and here is our text. You can see already and place this uh, on video track 2. This is what we have now. Okay, and I want to type the next one. So you can continue doing that. You can also do that right inside the subtitle manager. Now, where do we get the subtitle manager? To get the subtitle manager, you can see these subtitles here. When you click this uh, arrow down here, you can see uh, subtitle or manage subtitles. When you click, you have this uh, pop-up window here. And this little floating window here will help you to create that. Now, you can see there are different uh, menus here. The files here, that means you have to create new files, duplicate that. You can either delete the ones that already created 
or you can import the subtitle and export the subtitle right inside this subtitle manager or manage the subtitles you can import in if you create a subtitle somewhere and then you bring it in and you just edit it here or you can export it somewhere here so we already have this first one here so what we do we go to the layers and content and you can see we have one two three four so when you go to the layers under the layer zero which is the we have the apple events that is in Four events representing one, two, three, and four. So you can see layer zero and with four events. And if you expand this, you can see these four events. What is the text we just type in? So let's select that first one as we have did that. And then once we select that, uh, we can go to style. And then once you're in the style, you can see the default thing here, font, the Arial. Now to edit this, you can edit the title, subtitles here. And here you can see already uh, we have the Arial. You can change the font right inside here to uh, what kind of font you want to um, place it in here. And then you can change the font size and font style, whatever you want to do with the font here. And then you can see you have the underline, you have the uh, strike through, change the color, everything you do right here. You can click OK. And then you have the text, uh, text color here. You have the outline. So we want to have this up, the outlines to be 10. And then the shadow, we want to go up to 5. OK and you can align your whatever you want to do so here you can see the show preview now when we show the preview this is what it looks like so you can see the outline is a little bit thicker so let's uh, put it down to five i think much better there and here it is where you type in your text but make sure to know what speech is there but we are trying to do the first one here so once we have that let's click ok and it's automatically adding this to every text so if we close this and we go you can see this is what we already created but what if you want to have a kind of style like this again so today we're going to look at messy.ai we did a video before on messy.ai but today it is different from what we did before well, to do that, we have to use the ASS tag and it's a little bit advanced. So let's start to see how we can create that. 